The Fortnite Android beta has finally been officially announced after many leaks, speculations and rumors. At the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 event, Epic Games CEO took the stage to confirm that Samsung Galaxy device owners are the first to be invited to beta starting right now. Meanwhile, the official Fortnite website has been updated to confirm that it's not only Samsung devices that will get access to Fortnite. The game will be rolled out to a wider variety of devices in next few days, though Samsung Galaxy smartphones such as the S7, S8, Note 8 as well as Note 9 and Tab S4 will get access first. Other devices that will get the game include the OnePlus 6, Google Pixel 2, Asus ROG phone, Nokia 8 and Razer phone to name a few. Here is a full list of supported devices. I know most of you guys are pretty excited to try this out on your Android devices and that's exactly why today I'll be showing you how you can get Fortnite on any Android device. Excited? So let's get started. If you're expecting Fortnite to run on a budget Android smartphones like Xiaomi Mi A2, that's not the case right now. If you want to take advantage of this game, then make sure you're running this game on a flagship device for better experience, as this is a graphic intensive game. The Fortnite Android Beta download size is 1.88 GB. Now there is an official way to get Fortnite Beta if you have the supported devices. For that, sign up on the official Fortnite website for a Fortnite Android Beta invite event. When you are invited, you will receive an email with a link to download the game. Players will be granted access in wave to Fortnite Battle Royale and will be sent instruction on how to download and play. Now, if you don't have a supported device or you don't want to go through the hassle of sign up, then I have a very simple way to get Fortnite on any Android device. A huge thanks to XDA team for porting this APK file using which you can install Fortnite. So head over to the link in the description down below and download APK file and install it. But before that, make sure your unknown sources is enabled. Now once the APK is installed, open the app and it will automatically start downloading the game which is of 1.88 GB. Once game is downloaded, go through with the initial setup and now you're good to go. My initial impression of the game was amazing. I didn't feel any lag while playing the game on my OnePlus 5 at the default settings. But yeah, my device get heated just after 5 to 10 minutes of gameplay. This is expected as it's a very graphic intensive game but as this is a beta release, I think some of these issues will be fixed in the final release. So guys that's it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you do then do consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any future videos from Extreme Droid. So this is Samir signing off and I'll see you guys in my next one.